So what you're seeing here, this is a quick overview of VSM4 Beta, which is about to be, which will be launching soon, most likely uh, probably next week. So DSM4 Beta is a refresh of our uh, of our DSM management operating system. And what you're seeing here, so we added a new widget bar, so it's a quick glance of seeing what's going on with your disk station, so you can sign in, see what's one of the resources, your system health, and uh, who's logging in, if you want to see storage, and all these these options can be changed. So if I want to see the current connection, I can change it to current connection, and then I can kick people off if I need to kick them off. Uh, as you can see on my desktop right here, I have a lot of windows that are open. So an easy way to figure out what I'm actually looking at, I can turn on the pilot view, and it can ex uh, make a quick preview of all the windows that are open. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, go back to the control panel. So I'm going to select control panel here. Now with DSM 3.2, originally the multimedia applications were integrated into the control panel, integrated into the DSM. So let's say you're deploying the disk station at work and you don't really need multimedia services. Well, since we converted all the multimedia applications as packages, you can now uninstall the service. So to uninstall the service, just click on Package Center, let this package load, and if you don't want multimedia streaming, it's just say, here we go, Media Server. We don't need that at work. So you can just click More and click Uninstall, and then uninstall the service, and you don't need it anymore. Uh, let's see. Another thing that we did with the TSM, uh, another great thing for admins, is that we have refined uh, notification. It's very granular now. So you can choose to receive which notification you want to receive, such as when a backup fails or when you have a, a drive failure. You can easily say that for email, uh, see a text message. We also integrate a notification system for Android and iOS capable devices. And if you have MSN or Skype on your computer, we can easily receive a Skype message or a MSN message. Now the great new cool thing with DSM4 Beta is the introduction of Cloud Station. Now what Cloud Station is, is a file syncing service between multiple computers. And we can we use this Cloud Station and it's done without port forwarding. So Cloud Station again is a file syncing service, so I'm going to minimize DSM right now. And I'm going to show you Cloud Station. So let me close up all my notepads here that was running. So let's say, this is my desktop at work, I'm in Seattle, I have a little paper right here. Let's say, show me the world. So I can type in this file, and this is on my desktop in Seattle. Save it, close it, and this is my little travel netbook, my little travel computer. And it takes a few seconds to start the syncing process, and then I can open up that file, and I can see the exact same text, even though I'm syncing between two different computers. Now, so your data with Cloud Station is privately stored right here. No one else will get to see your data. It is all stored on the disk station. It's basically your own personal cloud without any recurring fees. Your storage is unlimited. It's basically how much storage is on the disk station. So that is it. That's pretty much it with DSM 4.0 Beta. Again, that's, that's a preview. So DSM 4 Beta is coming out soon. Cool.